in this video we will demonstrate how to send the signal with the property uh, which will trigger one or another choice uh, in the receiving uh, system so uh, let's say here we have a system we have sender and receiver so sender has behavior which sends the signal so here we see that uh, five uh, is uh, input value to signal send signal action signal has uh, uh, property value uh, which gets value as a five and then signal is sent and using this uh, internal block diagram we see that uh, uh, signal is sent from sender to receiver we didn't have a property on port here on send signal action because there is no port so it will just transition through that uh, connector and receiver uh, has also uh, behavior state machine so the receiver at the beginning is in s1 state and it waits for signal so we see that signal is uh, used as a trigger here on transition once the signal is received uh, using action language helper we get the value from the signal so we get this value we see the name of the property value and then we compare to the number and uh, based on the value which was in that uh, property value we go to the left uh, or right uh, transition so this uh, action language helper get value is pretty much uh, used uh, there are many other action language helpers you can check on docs uh, uh, .nomagic .com, uh, just uh, input action language helpers and you helper and you will get a list of them so in this case this uh, will uh, help you to extract the property from the signal in runtime so signal uh, was captured here and now we get the property and we compare it as a guard and based on the uh, more or less uh, uh, we choose one another transition so let's execute the system so I will run the whole uh, system I will right click uh, on that uh, block right click uh, simulation run and now I will run behavior here start so a C signal was sent and uh, that was uh, the branch selected. I can uh, stop and run again and again uh, decrease the speed, uh, change the value here. So for example, two, so this branch will be selected, right? Run again, the signal is sent. We can see that it was sent to this connector, this selected. Now let's simplify this model let's uh, put the send signal directly on this state you know that that uh, we would not need the system we would need the sender just the receiver alone with the state machine and then on s1 we will send the signal the signal will be received by this transition and then based on the value of the property we will be selected this on the uh, relation so selecting containment tree we have this activity here uh, we will drag this activity on state We'll choose it as a, for example, do or entry, doesn't matter in our case here. And now you see what happens. So when we enter the state, this activity will be executed. So this signal will be sent. And because we are waiting for the signal, this is critical moment. We need to wait for signal at that moment when we send the signal. So if you are not waiting here, there is no need to send it because it will be ignored. No one waits. So you need to be in this state at that moment uh, when you send the signal in the state which has transitioned uh, uh, with the trigger as the signal which you are going to capture and that's it so this will be enough uh, I can uh, even delete those uh, other parts here I don't need that uh, oh actually I need one thing uh, from the sender selecting containment I think sender had uh, activity so I need to move it out now we can go to the sender. Here you go. Now I can uh, execute this block, run. Yes. And we'll see now the value is, uh, I think the value is uh, 2. So this will be this branch selected. Let's 
to send the send the signal and we have to switch to here. I can also open here this one. So now I will change the value to to four, no to six. And all this bank will be selected. Okay, stop, run again. And then behavior. So that's that's the uh, way how to send the signal and with the property capture that property uh, and based on that property value do one another decision